What's up guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can make your first $10,000 online. I know, the Ty Lopez type intro in the garage, but thought it would be more fun this way. So I'm gonna jump on my computer and show you one of the many ways you can make $10,000 online easily. How can you make your first $10,000 online? Now, what I'm gonna show you isn't something you need a lot of money to start. You don't need any skills. This is the easiest way I know of where you can start making money online. You don't need a bunch to start, like I was saying. So this is going to be reselling things. Now let me switch to my computer and show you. Now I'm on a site called Blue Lots. Now there's a couple different websites I've personally tried and this one is my favorite, it's the easiest. So what I'm talking about is reselling things that you buy in bulk from online. You can start with $75, you can start with 2000, but you buy a bunch of different items with Blue Lots. They have different products that have either been returned to them, they have different conditions, so they're either new, they're used. So when I say item reselling, I'm not talking about just going around your house finding stuff to sell on eBay. I know you guys probably already know of that and have tried that. But what I'm talking about is buying items in bulk from a website like Blue Lots. So Blue Lots is the website I personally use now. I've tried a couple others, wasn't a fan. Now. What it is, is they curate a bunch of different products that they either purchased for cheap in bulk from other people, they were returns, or somehow they acquired them. Big stores sometimes need to get rid of products. It's costing them money having it on their shelves. So they go to Blue Lots. Blue Lots gets those products, puts them in a box, and ships it to you if you order it. So the example I have, I actually got a box down here. I don't know if you guys can see, but I have a bunch of different products. So I got a back seat organizer. I got two of those. I have a little model airplane and there's a ton of different products in here. Now on their site, I'll show you exactly what I did and how I'm going to sell these and pretty much double the money I spent. So on their website, you can sort by either price. So we can say, let's say we're starting with, we'll just say $300. So max amount $300. We only want, let's say we only want new products. So our goal is to sell these on Amazon because with that, Amazon takes care of everything, they do the work, and the profit is very nice with that. So we're gonna say new items, and we can also choose our category if we want to. Now, Blue Lots has a lot of cool tools, and I'll show you with actually my order I did right here, and show you exactly how you can actually make money with it. So we could sort through this and we see, okay, originally these are worth $1,240, there's 68 units, Now let's say you order, you get your products, now what? You have a box of random products, you can click in. You can't see every single thing that's in the box. Sometimes you can get, oh, I lied. You can see every single thing that's in the box, so if you wanna look stuff up before, you can. Now here is a perfect example. Let me go over to Amazon and show you. So this is why I like Blue Lots. So I am obviously selling on Amazon all these products. I'm reselling them. They have the ASIN, which is pretty much the skew or the number that Amazon associates with the product because that's where they get the more majority of these. So I'm gonna look at this. So I have seven of these and it says the original retail value is 35. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this. I'll search it into Amazon and see what it's selling. So you can actually go through. So it's selling for 26 plus $6 shipping. So about $32 right here. Now, like they said, about 35. So I could go through each one of these if I wanted to and see if it's profitable for me to sell these. I can even download this. So this is what I did with my box. So you would download this and it would pull up something that looks like this. Now this is what they give you. This little last line I added, but they give you all this information, the ASIN. So I can go and search each of these products. So I'd go look on Amazon and there's a pretty cool tool, which I'll show you right here. So we'll go to we just type in FBA calculator 
and it's the first link and all we have to do is pull up one of these ASINs. So let's go to the one we looked at originally. So I just copy and paste this. You can type in the name or anything. I search this and let's say we're going to sell it for $29.99. I was about the price with shipping. We'll offer free shipping and we'll say it costs us 20 cents a unit to send to Amazon, which is about accurate. If you're sending in a full box like this, it won't even cost that much. And we'll leave cost of prog blank. So what are our fees? Amazon charges fees for shipping on Amazon. So what we're doing, if you've never heard of Amazon FBA, is we're sending all this inventory into Amazon. Amazon will then hold it all. And when we get an order under the listing that we're listed under, Amazon will ship it out and take care of it. So we're not boxing up stuff. We're not labeling it and shipping it out, taking it to the post office. Amazon's doing all that for us. So Amazon charges a 15% referral fee. So right here, you can see that's $4 and 50 cents. That's one of the fees. Now, if we change price, this will change. And the second fee is the fulfillment fee they charge or fulfillment cost. And you can see right here, that is 346 because we said that. So it's actually, we'll pretend we don't include that yet, 326. So this number will not change. That is based on the weight and size of the item. So our total fees right here are 326. So 876 or I'm sorry, 776 are our total fees right here. And you can see we're left with 223 after that. So if we, on average, let's see how much this unit costs us. So we have seven of them out of 68 units and we just divide that right here. Now this shipping is different. I don't know why it's supposed to be 30, but we would see what our unit costs us. So I went ahead and downloaded the Excel sheet so I could personally see everything on here. And I went and filled it out to show you a mock-up of what it would actually look like if I sold every item at the current lowest price it's listed on Amazon. So if I scroll down right here, you guys will see this is a little table I made. I just copy and pasted this and I added the sale price, the referral fee, which again is the 15%, the fulfillment fee based on weight and size to have Amazon do this. And then what my profit is per unit, how many of each unit I have, and then what my total profit is for that item. So you can see this one sells for $9. You're gonna see a couple variations. So we have one that sells for 60. We only have one unit of it, but that's $45 right there. We have some that sell for 15, but we're still making a $9 profit. Sells for 19, $13. And then we do have one where it sells for 480. Anything that low, it's usually not worth it to send it in, but 60 cents. So I honestly probably would not send in this item, which you might get one or two in a lot, but that's not really gonna hurt you when you have this many items. So out of 39 units, our total money we'd get back from Amazon, so our Amazon profit would be 383.98. Now that is before subtracting our initial cost, which I said it was $150 for the units. So the 39 units I bought, all of this, $150 plus $30 in shipping, so that's 180. That means my end all profit after all costs and everything is 203.98. So I made $203.98 in profit from spending 180. That means I'm getting, I turned 180 into $383, 113% ROI. So imagine if you are starting small, you start with $100 and let's just say you get 100% ROI. Okay, great, it's $200 now. You do that again, it's 400. You do it again, it's 800. So it's just, it just grows exponentially. Now, I don't think this is a business model to keep forever. It's easier to start off, build money this way, and you're learning Amazon at the same time, and then start an actual Amazon FBA private labeling business, which is kind of what I did. But I still like to do this just for fun to show you guys because this is by far the easiest way that I know to make money online. When you're just starting, you don't need skills, and it does help you learn Amazon a little bit. Now, I'll leave this website in the description. It is called Blue Lots. Now, one thing I did not show you guys is, obviously you can sort everything. They also have a lot of different seller tools, which is probably the coolest part. So you can see uh, if you're watching any lots or inventory, if you made any orders, listing tools. So you can see this is my one order right here. Again, you can select it by category. So if you wanna only sell electronics or you only wanna sell makeup or something along those lines, you can do that. So this is every single item in my order. Now watch how cool this is. Instead of going, creating a listing on Amazon, doing this, doing that for each single item, which is the tedious part, I click list for sale on Amazon, 
pulls up straight to my Amazon already listed. And all I do is say, okay, yep, this is new. I have two of them. That is this item right here. I have two of those and I'm going to charge 16, 17, the same as the low price. Boom. I'm done. That item is listed and I just go through and do that for each of them. And it's very easy because some of these are multiple. You can see this is the same product. So I just put quantity two and I would just do that for all of my units and this Excel sheet. So I've tried two other businesses with this type of business model and it was kind of bumpy, but with Blue Lots, it's been super easy. So if you guys want to try this, feel free. The link will be in the description. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try and help the best of my ability. But like I said, very easy business model to start making a couple thousand a month online with not a lot of work. Yes, you have to go through, mark the inventory, see what's profitable. There is a little bit of risk, but when you're diversifying, you have that many different products at different prices and profits. Even if, let's say three of your listings, you make no money and you're stuck with the inventory. And then another three, let's say the price goes down and you make $1 profit instead of nine, which that's a big jump, but you would still make a good amount of money. Let's just say you make a 50% return. Okay, you just turned your $200 into 300. So that is kind of the name of the game with this is just keep reinvesting it and growing it until you can start a more easy, not easy business model, but a more scalable business model where it's a little bit more hands off. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next video.